Hey everybody, it's Jenny and I am back with you today to share how I plan this week in my classic happy planner. There's a look at last week which was just so classic me. Stamping, stickers, a color palette, just really random and eclectic and super like me. You can see the dashboard that I use right there as a bookmark and I also have my word of the year intent on there. But let's get started. So I took out the page from my Happy Planner so that I can have the smoothest surface to work on. I am going to be using a variety of stickers from my stash, including these from Alma Designs. I absolutely loved the colors and the patterns. And then also these from Hey Danny Co. Again, I really just thought they were super cute and that's why I purchased them. Now these baseball border stickers I purchased ages ago, like seriously years ago, and they aren't sold anymore, so my bad. But I will share with you the Alma designs and the other down below. Now I am flipping through looking for a baseball sticker, and these top ones from Little Red Prints are also no longer available. They've been in my stash that long, and as you can see, I stocked up like for real because I love them so much and they're super cute and perfect for my planner. So I will link you to Little Red Prints in case you can find something similar in her store, but eh, I don't know if you're going to be able to. However, good news is that these box stickers, which are genuinely some of my favorites, are from she used to be called the Planner Junkie, but she changed the shop name to Zona Papery. And so, again, I will link you up below. But they are my favorites, absolutely, without a doubt. The colors, the paper quality, the shipping is fast. It's just really, really a great shop. And I love using the full boxes in conjunction with those baseballs. They are super cute. Now, I've pulled out the stamps because I'm also going to be stamping as well, and I'm really excited about it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going through some of the sheets of stickers, or stamps, I'm sorry, that I have, and I'm sort of looking through seeing, okay, yes, I'd like to use something from here, yes, I'd like to use something from there, because that's kind of one of the things when you have a large stash is that A, narrowing down what you want to use, and then B, remembering all of the stamps that you have as well. That's the same thing with stickers or any other supplies, to be perfectly honest with you. So I am choosing ones that I'd like to use, including this stuff to do. So I'm going to ink it up with my VersaFine ink, giving firm, even pressure without using too much ink or pressing too hard. High quality photopolymer stamps are going to give you the best impression and they're super easy to use. I highly recommend them. Buying them from companies that make them in the U.S. are really the best choice in terms of ease of use, to be perfectly honest with you. I use a Papermate Flare pen. It's just what works best for my handwriting. It's truly my number one planning tip is finding a pen that you really like. I'm going to stamp this little airplane using some Versa Magic ink. I love this color. It's like a, I don't know, a soft aqua. It's just beautiful. And I'm going to use this airplane icon from Sweet Stamp Shop newsflash, super old, can't get it in the shop anymore. However, I am sure there are plenty of places with an airplane stamp. So I'm inking that up and putting it up there in the upper left-hand corner of the layout. My husband will be gone all week for work, and so that is, I'm putting that there, and then I'll use some washi tape to help denote that as well. I am stamping down the little cleaning icons to notate my cleaning schedule, and I will also use a sticker from Zona Papery to point to it and write that on there. I love this technique. It's super cute, super functional, and then leaves some white space so that it's easy for all of the things to get noticed and to get seen. And if you have been around here for a while, you know that this classic eclectic, or let me start, let me back up that this eclectic look is very classic for me. I just, I love things being super random on the page. It just keeps me moving and grooving. And it also allows me to get more on the page as well. When I use one thing or no things or all the things, I just have a harder time getting as much as I need on here. And quite frankly, this very beginning part of March and the end of February is a crazy time in our schedule. So I need all the help that I can get. So I've just added a little label sticker with that teeny tiny little baseball icon. Again, sorry to break your heart. 
Yeah, no longer available. But that's why I'm telling you, when you see something you love, pick it up, put it in your stash. You never know when you're going to want it later or when it's no longer going to be available. Now I am inking up that stamp from Sweet Stamp Shop. Good news is that you can still get that in the shop and I will link it up below. And I'm using the VersaFine ink, firm, even pressure over the entire stamp without too much ink yields fantastic results. Now I like to vary my to-do list. I don't usually put it all across the bottom or all across the top, though I do sometimes, but I like to vary it up just because I feel like it keeps me, keeps the design of my page random and more eclectic as I have mentioned, which is sort of really good for my brain because it keeps me looking all over the page and I don't miss anything because I could become definitely very complacent and just, okay, hey, I'm going to check out my to-do list, but nothing else. This way I'm just looking at all the things. Now, let's be clear, some weeks I do put it all across the bottom. And again, because of that randomness, I'm keeping all of the things in my line of sight. Now I'm pulling out some more stamps, including the, well, okay, let's back up. I'm using the baby wipe to wipe them off because that's how I like to clean off the ink for my stamps. But, so I've inked up that stamp. And now I'm going to wipe all of the ink off the baby wipe and then dry the stamp on the back of my hand and then put ink on just one more circle. It's Wednesday, lots of stuff to get done on Wednesdays. And so five little check marks usually doesn't catch it or doesn't, I'm sorry, it doesn't do the whole job. So a sixth one is great. And so I just, I only rubbed it on the back of my hand to dry it off so that I could add more ink. I didn't need to prime it or prep it. Photopolymer stamps created in the U.S. or manufactured in the U.S. definitely are the way to go. They are perfect right out of the package. So now I am also stamping the little icon on the little sticker. I love that look. I think it's really, really simple, yet the baseball, okay, and let's also be clear, I know it's not a baseball. I know it's actually a tennis ball, but this stamp set, for whatever reason, neglected to put baseball in there, which I find to be incredibly odd. But I'm just using the tennis ball anyway because it looks enough like a baseball for me. So I love it on that box. I think it's really super simple. It's really functional, 100% functional, yet I think it's adorable. So for me, that combines all of the best things of planning, which is making things that are super functional also really cute. So I kind of love it. Now I am adding this big sticker from Hey Danny Co. and I thought it was adorable and I wanted to pair it with the little baseball border, which is also super cute. And that just makes it super decorative and fun, but obviously I wouldn't have to. The sticker alone is fine and really cute, so I don't have to put them together. I just really like the way that they look. And so adding them both right there is just a win-win for me. So now you can see I'm using those scallop stickers from Hey Danny Co. to create a checklist of things to do. Isn't that so fun? I love that. It's just a little bit different and something that I don't know what came to me in this particular layout to do it that way, but I thought, hey, let's make it a to-do list. And I think it turned out super cute. So now I am just continuing on and I'm not going to lie to you, this color of aqua is just so pretty and it makes me so excited to use it, though I don't use it all the time because Black really just works for me super well, and so I definitely just use that the most, but the aqua is so pretty and really gets me excited. Now, the clipboard for my volunteering on Friday mornings, for some reason, they just really go hand in hand. The clipboard sort of not only is really cool, and I use it for lots of things, but it's really like, I love it for volunteering at school. I just, it absolutely makes my day. I think it's just the co perfect combination of functional yet really adorable too. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I'm getting a little nervous because I'm having to think about planning the weekend as well as this Friday. So I'm putting these elements together, but I'm also in the back of my mind keeping Friday or Saturday, I'm sorry, in my brain because as you can see, I've got a lot of post-it notes. So I'm just adding my things for Friday and having to leave some of them blank because I don't know all of the information yet and won't until much, much closer. So that's kind of the beauty here too, is that I'm able to 
designate a space for those activities, and then write those times in a little bit later. So as you can see here, this is where post-it notes for my pre-planning really comes in handy. I'm able to get all the things down, cross things out as they change, and that kind of thing. And I can also just really take hold and take charge of my family schedule. Because a day like this is crazy and quite frankly, I'm not sure how I would keep track of all of it without the paper planner. So I'm super excited about it. Now, one of the things that I really want to do here too is I really want to use a variety of supplies in order to keep myself on track. There are so many activities and it would be super easy to mess something up, not get to where I want to be. And this way using changing it up and using different supplies for each activity really helps keep my eye moving throughout the day. Now I'm also going to use this stamp as well and I like I've said several times now already black VersaFine ink not using too much pressing evenly and firmly but not too much pressure and it's perfect. This ink does not bleed through to the back in case you were wondering and I actually don't have any shadowing on my Happy Planner. I think other people do sometimes get shadowing. I don't have any with the black. I do with the purple and the blue, but not with the black. So for me, it's really genuinely the perfect ink. And if you're having shadowing, it's probably more to do with how much ink or how hard you're pressing. But shadowing is not that big of a deal, truth be told. And stamping is not only fun, but it is inexpensive as well. I mean, you know, Per use. You can use it a thousand times. So once you've bought the stamp, it's yours to use forever. So let's move on to Sunday now that I've got all of those activities down for Saturday. And I'm going to use my Tombow dual brush pen just to write out itty bitty. I am not a lettering expert by any stretch of the imagination. However, I enjoy doing it. I think it's really fun and I'm satisfied enough with my skill level, which is not very high by the way. I'm satisfied enough with my skill level to add it to my own personal projects. I wouldn't sell it. I wouldn't teach it. I wouldn't do anything like that because I am in no way, shape or form a professional, but I really use, enjoy it for my own projects. And so I think it's one of those things that really adds a lot to my own pages. Now I also colored in that little arrow from the Tuesday box. It's so cute, isn't it? And now I want to also stamp with the cutlery down below for my meal planning as well. As you can see, meal planning is going to be a serious challenge for this week with so much going on, but I look forward to it. Quite frankly, this is such an exciting time in our lives and we have so much fun together and really enjoy all of our stuff. And I think that that is just a highlight for me. Anyway, totally off topic and I really apologize because I know a lot of you do not enjoy videos where I go off topic or where people go off topic. Anyway, adding a few decorative stickers and that's where these Alma designs come in. I am clustering these together over on Sunday, just adding three together. I've talked about the rule of thirds before, which is not necessarily what I'm doing here. The rule of thirds is really more about something else, but keeping three items together is often very, very pleasing. So if you're looking for a way to start slowly in embellishing, pick things in groups of threes. You will be much happier with the results if you start that way and place them in a triangle formation. Now I'm also not only decorating over there on Sunday, but I added a couple of little things to Wednesday as well. And then these tiny little hexagons on the Thursday bottom section. They're so cute. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, you're filling up all the space. I'm totally not. I still have room to add anything that pops up. And I also could totally just put like label stickers or activity stickers over top any of these things. But as you can see, there's still room to add one or two things. No problem at all. Now I'm just creating my sidebar checklist as well using another one of those Hey Danny Co stickers and then just some little bullet points from the Alma designs to carry the decorative elements into the incredibly functional in my sidebar. I like to put things that I need to get done but don't have a specific day that they need to be done over here in the sidebar or maybe something like, oh yeah, I totally just remembered and I jot it down and then it may move itself over but for now that's where it lives. It's really just been such a huge help for me. 
Now I'm adding this super cute happy planner washi tape to the top. The color palette goes perfectly. Now obviously this is a triangular design and I don't really have triangles in this layout, but because it's geometric and some of the other things are also geometric, it works. That's pretty much it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this look at my happy planner. If you have any questions, leave it in the box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.